Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing happy, amazing and positive as always. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions of the Sylvie um, Silk Anti-Acne Pillowcase. I have never owned an anti-acne pillowcase before silk pillowcases anything like that and just letting you know that this is absolutely not a sponsored video i just bought this um i saw the ad pop up i think it was on tiktok or facebook and i thought you know what i need this because i had a hormonal breakout about a week ago because I started my monthlies. It's really annoying because I've come so far with my skin. I've been, you know, using really good skincare. I've been getting facials done and then I had this breakout session and it sucks. I needed to go get more of that Ren Dark Spot cream, the night cream that I did two reviews on, but I haven't been able to go and get it because of this lockdown and the time I went before that they were sold out. So I just haven't been able to get my hands on it because I know these breakouts are going to leave marks on my face. I'm really sorry if you can hear the wind by the way it is extremely extremely windy outside. I'm going to try and cut out as much of the noise as possible. You guys probably know all the benefits of a silk pillowcase but if you don't I will leave a list here so you guys can have a quick read of all the different benefits. This particular one that I got from this brand is actually plant-based. If you don't know what real silk is, it's definitely not cruelty-free. And every single pillowcase that I came across was not cruelty-free. This is ethically sourced and I did a little bit of reading as well and yeah, they seem to be a very ethical business. This particular one is actually made of bamboo. So it's bamboo silk, which is so cool. It's infused with silver ions, which naturally eliminate 99.7% of acne causing bacteria found on ordinary fabrics. The normal cotton pillowcases that we sleep on is literally a bacteria breeding ground. And when you're putting your face on there every night, you know, all the oils and you know, any like pimples that you have, if it's like popped, I know it sounds gross, but if it's popped on your pillowcase and say you've not realized or the oils on your face, the bacteria on your face, the drool that you drool, your sleep, anything that goes on the pillow, you know, that breeds bacteria. And every night you put your face on that and it literally just, escalates from there. So this will prevent that from happening. People commonly report seeing clearer skin in as little as four weeks, which is really what I need. So this is for all skin types, all ages, safe for pregnant women and children. My skin is always quite red and this hopefully will help. So I didn't put any makeup on today because I wanted to show you guys the state of my skin unfortunately. So anyway enough of me going on and I will open this and show you guys my first sort of impressions. Okay time to open this. I haven't even opened the plastic of this because I wanted to I wanted this to be a completely raw review. So here goes. I love the packaging by the way how cute that is so adorable. Okay, um, so it opens up like this. Ooh. Don't really care about this right now. I just want to see the product. It's in like a little like colorful thing. Okay, so here we are. And then just open it. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. Ta-da. And it's got the Sylvie logo on the bottom, which is so cute. But this is it, guys. It's pretty big. I don't know if this is going to... 
I feel like this might be a bit too big for my pillow, but we're gonna find out. So this is just the white standard size. I paid $69 for one, which is quite expensive, but I'd rather pay a little bit more for something that is not cruelty based. And this, I ordered the white, I think it was the white standard size, but this is definitely not white. This is kind of like an ivory or cream color, which is totally fine. I'm not fussed. I would rather it be this color than pure white anyway. I'm not a fan of full white because I feel like it just gets dirty quicker and I'm just not bothered for that life. I mean, it's just a simple, plain sort of pillowcase. It's really thick and it feels really like of good quality. Like, it's got a really like a natural scent, I feel like. It doesn't have any chemical smell or anything like that at all. And it is 400 TC bamboo lyocell, which I have no idea what that means, but let's just go with it. And it is just, oh my gosh, the fabric is so soft and cool. Like it's gonna be so cool on my face. And I need that cool sensation when I'm in bed. I like to have my feet and my head like face cool even if it's cold at night it just makes me feel fresh when i sleep it's really soft and it's like a cloud and i feel like royalty i feel like a million dollars just touching this so imagine how i'm gonna feel when i actually sleep on it it's gonna be amazing so i have so much hair coming out when i sleep and I know that cotton pillowcases can trigger this. So I'll show you guys the hair. Like there's so much hair. This is just from one night or two nights um, of sleeping. And I just have a lot of hair falling out. And I do wake up with pimples. You know, I don't get them throughout the day. Obviously, I feel like that's for most people. But like with all of these, I woke up one morning with these on my face but every time I do have a pimple it's because I've woken up with it so I don't know if it's my pillow case doing this at night but yeah it's really annoying I'm gonna like test this out and sleep on it for a bit and see how this works for my skin um, I'm gonna change my pillow case today and just see how we go I've heard apparently even if you do your skincare your nighttime skincare routine and once you put your head on your pillow if it's a cotton pillow case there's really no point of doing your skincare that's what I've heard and that really made me sad because you know I do my nighttime skincare routine every night I don't want to waste money and time doing all that when I'm putting my face on a bacteria breeding ground you know I also wake up with like the cotton marks on my skin so my skin looks like rough in texture as soon as I wake up and maybe like an hour later it will go back to normal um, so that's one thing that I've also recently noticed as I've been a bit more aware of this and also when you put your head on a pillow you know your face is kind of like squished like that so do you see this part here you know, you're like this for eight hours a night or however long you sleep on both sides, you know, and it creates this line, like a wrinkle that goes here. And what that does is makes your under eye look deeper than it actually is. And it brings these eye bags more prominent. And that's really not what we want, especially as we age. And that's also, I've noticed, that line becoming deeper and deeper every morning. So that's another reason why I bought this because I am not trying to get wrinkles and I refuse to ever get Botox. So I need to do this a natural way and look after my skin so windy and at the youngest age possible. It's great that we have all these new things these days. So the silver ions bind to acne causing bacteria and kill 99.7% of them before they have a chance to reproduce. That's what I need. Okay, so cotton fabric is highly absorbent. So whatever skincare you've got on your face, it will just absorb it by the pillow. So soaking up skincare products and aggravating your skin during the night. Wow, so have I just wasted my time and money? To make your Sylvie last, we recommend washing every 10 to 14 days. Silver, the silver in this actually keeps the fabric cleaner for longer which is really cool so you can machine wash this hand wash and iron on low heat when it's dry so you can't tumble dry you can't bleach 
uh, avoid dry cleaning and no fabric softeners. No chemicals, designed for sensitive skin. Guys, girls, young or old, we got you. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to go change my pillowcase now. That's where I sleep. And yeah, we'll see in four weeks how it looks. I'm going to monitor, you know, my hair loss, monitor my skin throughout this time. And I will take you guys with me. Guys, I'm actually so happy because it fit perfectly. So happy. Okay, I just put my face down on this pillow and oh. I don't want to get up. It's so soft and doesn't hurt your face. I noticed with the cotton pillow, sometimes like it hurts. I don't know if that's like a real thing or if it's psychological, but this feels so nice and it's so cool and just so beautiful. Do I have to get up right now, please? I actually feel like I'm sleeping on a cloud right now. So I got a full night's of rest and no hair to be seen, except for this one little one right there. But other than that, no hair. No hair on my bed. No hair on the sides. So it's been four weeks now with the pillowcase and I've washed it once or twice since then. And there's not a strand of hair at all. Amazing. Usually I wake up with like a couple of strands. Or they've like fallen to the side here. And there's no strands. Which is so amazing. Okay guys. So it's been about five to six weeks since I purchased this pillowcase. Um, I've had it on my pillow this whole time i've washed it a couple of times as well and i'm gonna get into what i've noticed since i've had it oh my god okay um I've just noticed that there's a lot of like threads coming out of the hems. Oh wow, okay. Can you guys see that? I didn't even notice this before, like because I haven't looked at it so closely while it has been on my pillow, but that is a lot. I just didn't expect to see that at all. I've bought pillowcases from like Kmart and I've washed it like hundreds of times and it's never done this you know so I'm really like concerned as to why this happened but I will email them because this is not okay I did notice a couple of threads here and there falling out after the first wash but I just thought you know sometimes that happens with like extra threading that you know sometimes it just like comes off and it's fine you know like I've had it with other pieces of clothing and stuff but this is a lot it's literally like all the way through the entire pillowcase it's just I don't I don't even want to pull on the thread bits that are coming off because I'm scared that the whole thing is just gonna come undone, you know? It's a lot. Usually I let things like this slide, but... <sighs> like... I followed the instructions and I've washed it the way that I'm supposed to wash it. You know, there's a whole label here that says how you're supposed to wash it it's been de delicately machine washed and yeah oh wow okay <sighs> that's disappointing but yeah i mean ugh, aside from that not much hair fallout you know i sleep with my hair out and usually a lot of hair comes off when i just sleep on a normal cotton pillowcase but um since i've been sleeping with this there's literally i've only noticed like one or two strands of hair this whole time it's been like four to five weeks sorry i've been i'm a little thrown off now i literally just noticed it as i took it off my pillow so i'm really thrown off now in terms of acne i haven't noticed a significant amount of change but i have noticed because i do get hormonal acne and no pillowcase is really gonna like fix 
it. Yes, it's going to help, but a pillowcase is not going to fix your hormonal acne. It's me, it's within, it's my body. That's just how it is. But I have noticed, however, that it's reduced the amount of um, hormonal acne that I get. So it's not completely anti-acne, but it's helped reduce the amount. I don't know if this is the pillow, but it's reduced the size of the hormonal acne. So that's a really huge plus, and I'm really happy if it's to do with the pillowcase. I've got makeup on now, so you can't really notice it, but yeah, it has reduced it. I do have less frizz in my hair when I wake up. I've noticed that it's less messy. Um, I've also noticed when I do my skincare, um, it actually doesn't absorb into the pillowcase. I can still feel that there's product on my face, and I'm not wasting the product, which, which is a huge um, deal for me as well. With my cotton pillowcase, I would literally notice with within like maybe half an hour of sleeping on my pillow, the product on my face was already off or already less. With the silk pillowcase, I still could feel that there was product and I could like literally tap the back of my hand onto my face and still feel like the residue of the products. So my nighttime skin routine is a lot more beneficial for me. Also with wrinkles, I've noticed that I don't wake up with too many lines on my face anymore. I do still wake up with a couple of lines here and there, you know, but that's very rare. With the silk pillow, case I've noticed a significant um, drop in the amount of lines you know even here I get like a lot of lines here because when I put my face down it's like you know squashed I don't really notice that line anymore and I've got dark circles under my eyes so I didn't want them to become more obvious with like literally lines outlining my under eye area I don't get the patterns on my uh, on my face like the marks of the patterns on my face anymore with the cotton pillowcase I notice like the little thread marks sometimes and it looked like I had a lot of texture on my face. I mean, I do have texture. Everyone's got texture. But I noticed that the pillow thread texture was not there anymore. The only thing is that it's just the thread that it, I feel like it's already going to come undone. And if I pull on the little threads that are coming off, it's going to like break apart. So that's something that I'm kind of concerned about. But please don't base your, you know, thoughts or opinion of this product based on just my review. Don't just take this as like a prime example or the review to go by. Everyone has different experiences. I would urge you to look at other reviews, read other reviews before you make a final decision. You could have a totally different um, experience with it. Everyone has different experiences. I can't stress that enough. Not everyone's going to love a product. Not everyone's going to enjoy a product. And I'm not going to like badmouth this company because I've read so many good reviews about it. So I'm definitely not going to do that. This is just my personal experience and I'm going to just email them and hopefully we can come to some sort of resolution about it. But um, I would say aside from the fraying, the benefits that I found with it is worth the money. That's the only con that I can really think of. I was going to come on here and, you know, just boast about this product and tell you guys how like freaking amazing it is. But then I literally noticed these fraying just as I took it off my pillow. Like I washed it fine, you know, it dried outside on the, on the line. Um, so yeah, I am, I am disappointed. Sometimes people get faulty products. Sometimes, you know, things happen in production, in making these things. It happens, it's normal for any business, no business is going to be perfect. It's not like every business always has 100% success rates with um, people's experiences. So don't get disheartened just off this review, please watch other reviews. I would honestly really, really recommend that. But that's it for today, guys. Once I do, you know, get a resolution for this, I'll put it down in the comments and let you guys know. Okay, guys, so I thought I would quickly update you because it didn't take long for this company to email me back once I emailed them with my concerns. I emailed them about an hour ago and I already received a resolution and I'm so grateful. This company, honestly, like, they're so nice and they rectified the issue and I really love companies like this. I sent them the email saying um, this is the case, this is what I've noticed, but I've also 
outlined the benefits of what I really liked about this product and then I also added pictures in there with the issue with the fraying and stuff like that and they apologized and they've offered to send me a new one. I'm really impressed with this company. Like I said guys, don't go based off my opinion. This could have just been one bad pillowcase, one faulty pillowcase. It happens. No business is 100% perfect. You know, there's high-end brands that have these issues. Don't just, you know, make your decision based off my opinion. Please do your own research. So I thought I'd just, you know, put this out there because now I'm really happy. I was kind of down about it, but I'm really happy about it now. And I really respect this company after this. So yeah, but for now, that was the final thoughts. This is, I just wanted to base my first impressions, first opinions and let you guys know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It will help me out so, so much. Leave any comments down below or any experiences that you've had with this product. Please stay happy. Please stay amazing. Please stay positive guys and I will catch you next week. Bye.